Good morning, guys, and happy candle day. So it is currently December 1st. It's about 8.30 a.m. I just finished my Pilates class that I do every Friday morning. And we are at my Bath & Body Works store, which is actually just down the road from my Pilates studio. So it worked out perfectly. I already have my list that I made last night. I know I said like a couple weeks ago that I'm not gonna participate in Candle Day, but all the new releases that are coming out specifically for today, I'm very excited about. So let's go inside. I only have like six or eight candles on my list. So I think I'll be good. And I have a coupon too. So I'm super excited. So let's go inside. So the first table that I saw when I walked in was this new collection. So we have Cosmopolitan right here, which is really like a black cherry kind of scent, which I'm not a fan of. I love the packaging though. Candy cane colada, which is basically a pina colada um, with some mint in there, which is an odd combo. And Top Shelf Elf, we all thought it was gonna be the eggnog candle, but it's actually like a fruity kind of candle. And then this is another candle day launch right here. These are all repackages, we've had them before. I have to say Strawberry Snowflakes is probably my favorite because there's little strawberries on there. And Vanilla Balsam was probably the lowest in stock at my store, so that's definitely a popular one. And then moving on to the body care candle selection. So of course we had Japanese Cherry Blossom, Pure Wonder, Dahlia, that's new. And Sweet Pea, I actually really enjoyed. I haven't smelled Sweet Pea in like 10 years, but it smelled so good. And then in the stars, and there were a few luminous candles, not a ton. Um, definitely not my favorite scent. It's more of a mature scent, but yeah, there's that one, Butterfly, and then a couple, um, men's kind of unisex candles and then of course our standard <laughs> vanilla bean noel winter candy apple and twisted peppermint but this is another candle day launch just our basics so laundry day bergamot waters cinnamon spice vanilla i loved this ombre watermelon lemonade and then this pineapple mango eucalyptus rain and then we have this new candy shop collection with caramel drizzle coming back. That was never a favorite of mine, but candy, candy Emporium right here it was just a super sweet scent. It's very, very fruity. Fruity candy, sweet confections, pillowy mints. I honestly didn't get any mint in this one, but there's that one. And then this blueberry lemon sour, which is another repackage of something we had last year in a blends candle. So that one's not surprising. And then lavender marshmallow, which I'm sure a lot of people are really excited that it's back because it doesn't come back often, but it is a favorite of a lot of people's. I like that one too. And then I had to show off my store had a lot of pistachio and toasted vanilla. So we definitely got restocks of that one. I know you know, in the early time when it first came out for holiday this year that they had sold out of it, but they definitely restocked. So keep an eye out for that one at your store. And then we have more from the same collection. We've got a frosted cranberry, a strawberry snowflake, spiced apple toddy, just some of the basic stuff, nothing crazy. And then I did notice they had some more left of this kind of collection here. Um, so if you're looking for any of those, my store had a ton of them, especially strawberry pound cake. And then just a small section, that's it, of fall. That's all we had left. It's like leaves, pumpkin pecan waffles, and white pumpkin, and that was it. But they had a ton of these raspberry thumbprints left, so another one that was really popular at the beginning when it first came out. Um, definitely got restocked. We've got Tree Farm, Hot Cocoa and Cream, Holiday, all the ones that come out every single year, so that's a good section right there. And then a couple new ones for Candle Day as well. Sweet Whiskey is back in the candle. I think it's been a few years. I don't actually know if it's ever come out in the candle. You guys will have to let me know, but... Black tie is also back. They always bring this one back around the end of the year. I think they kind of market it as a New Year's kind of scent, which it's nice. And then we also got a peach Bellini. I like that this has like a fizzy bubble kind of look on the packaging of these candles. It's kind of cute. And raspberry mimosa as well, which is a nice sweet and sugary kind of scent. And then we do have this little like watercolor collection of the candles that usually just come out all the time. Black teakwood, fresh cut lilacs, mahogany coconut and white tea and sage. So nothing crazy there, but just those ones that came back. And then we have these seasonal candles, which the perfect spring is right there. Not my favorite. Summer, which I think is one that we've already had. I think it's suntan, I wanna say. And I wasn't really impressed with that one. Autumn, I do love the packaging, but I wish they would have put the autumn color in a different color than the wax, because you can't even see the word autumn, but I think winter is the prettiest one here just because of the snowy tree kind of beautiful background on there, but that's it for that little seasonal collection. Now let's get to the haul. Okay. 
Okay, so as you guys saw, I did go shopping in stores for Candle Day and I do have a haul for you guys. I'm really excited to show you what I've got, but first let's kind of just talk through my store experience. So I went about two hours after they opened. They opened at six. And my store, I would say, is probably like a regular traffic kind of store. It's not super high traffic because it's not next to the mall or inside any of the malls, but it definitely has a regular flow of traffic and consistent customers that come there because I recognize some of the people that shop there. But um, it was not crazy busy. It was actually like perfect. It was just like a normal shopping day. Um, granted, it was 8.30 a.m., but there was maybe 10 people in the store at one time. And mine is like a double wide Bath & Body Works white barn and then checkout. Instead of being like next to each other, it's it's all the way, it's deep, I guess is what I'm trying to say. My store is deep. So it wasn't super crowded. I wore my mask though, just because I'm traveling next month and I really, or this month, sorry, I shook the camera. <laughs> I'm traveling and I don't wanna get sick, so. But yeah, I definitely didn't feel overwhelmed or anything. I wasn't rushed, like I felt great. So totally recommend that, um, especially for like tomorrow and Sunday to go a little bit after opening. Uh, but they will be putting out that new uh, pink hot cocoa and uh, whatever else collection. So I might check it out tomorrow. If not, I'll probably just check it out Sunday morning um, and see if they've put out that new collection because I would love one of the scents there. Um, it's like a bakery scent, so we'll see. But I was a little disappointed in the Clausmopolitan little collection with the Elf one and the Peppermint Pina Colada. I didn't like any of those scents. I almost got Cosmopolitan, but <laughs> hi, Kai. Hi. He wanted permission to lay down on the couch. He's so cute. Okay, sorry. Um, Cosmopolitan was definitely like some sort of cherry scent and I don't enjoy cherry fragrances. Um, the Elf one was another just like fruity scent, which I'm, I don't care about fruity scents. I really don't. If there's something that I like, it usually comes out in the springtime if it's fruity. So I just didn't get that. And then the peppermint pina colada actually smelled really good. But I was like, when would I burn this? Summer or winter? But like neither. I don't know. So I didn't get any of those. Um, I also didn't get any of like the newer collections. I think I only got one from the candy collection. So not crazy, but let's go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to start my haul. And the first thing I have is actually a gift. So I did have a 20% off coupon, I think. And I had a $7 body care item. So I did pick up an item and then I picked up the candle in Pure Wonder for a little gift set that I'm gonna give away for Christmas. So I got this $16.95 shower gel for $7. And then my candles came out to $7.96. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. I got these for under $8. That hasn't been the candle day price for like five years. So I picked up Pure Wonder. It's super pretty. The notes are Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. I really don't care for Pure Wonder, but in the candle, it's actually really nice. I did like it. I had it in the um, like moisturizing shower gel, and that was pretty nice too. So that's Pure Wonder. And actually, I did get that uh, shower gel for $5.60 because they took the 20% off of that. So I did really good. Um, I got nine candles and one body care item all for $83. So I did really, really great. Next, I picked up a pumpkin pecan waffles. I just really wanted to stock up on one for next year. So I picked it up in the Paisley print just because I didn't get to um, get this one in the fall. So I picked this one up. I'm just gonna save it till next year. And then one I wasn't expecting to get, but I kind of love it is Wildberry and Ube. I was not expecting to get this one. I kind of hate this packaging collection where they have like the matte packaging, the matte lid, it's all one color. It's not my favorite just because it's like this stone color. I wish they would have done like a cream or something. It's just weird. But the notes are fresh wild berries, purple ube and creamy vanilla. So I did also pick this up in the uh, hand soap. I think this scent smells really good. I'm excited to have this one for springtime. I think it's gonna be perfect. And if you guys didn't know, and I don't think I've ever shared this, but my boyfriend is Filipino. So we have a lot of ube snacks and stuff. Anytime we see, we go out to a place and they have ube flavored things, we're gonna buy it. I have to say it definitely does smell like that taro ube kind of taste. So I'm excited to burn this and see how it is. So I thought that was fun and like novelty. So pick that one up. I almost am tempted to go back and pick one up for his brother and for his mom, just like 
to have something fun. I don't know. So if you think I should do that, let me know. I might pick those up on Sunday when I go back. Okay, see, I definitely thought I picked up lavender marshmallow, but I put it back last minute to actually get a Paris cafe because I was kind of going over my limit. But I do like lavender marshmallow. I just think this wild berry and ube is kind of similar just because they're both like sweet berry scents. I don't know. So I didn't pick that one up, but I do like lavender marshmallow. So I'll just go ahead and go. I got Paris Cafe, which I love Paris Cafe. It's super duper freaking strong. And it's almost sometimes too strong. It's rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla creme. But I have a cinnamon spiced vanilla in my collection. And I feel like if I burned those two together, it would be so yummy. It'd be just be like a vanilla coffee aroma. It'd be so yummy. So that's what I'm planning to do with that one. And then I'll do another white barn core packaging. I just picked up a strawberry pound cake, super basic, but I love this one every single year for spring or summer. It's fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. It smells pretty good. I'm curious to see how it burns after being out for a few years. Like I'm curious if this one's still a good scent. So pick that one up. And then one that I'm really happy they had more of is pistachio and toasted vanilla. I was loving this scent when it first came out last, um, I think it was winter SAS of 2022. They came out with pistachio and toasted vanilla and I loved it so much. It's salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds with natural essential oils. So that's it, it's just pistachios and vanilla almonds. It's so yummy. It is the perfect spring scent. This just like brings back memories of spring. It smells so good. It's a wonderful burner too. I hope this one is too, but I could not pass up on getting that for like $8. And then the other three are body care candles. I was really happy to see that they brought them out again this year for uh, candle day. I got in the stars. I love in the stars. I almost want to pick up a second one of this in the candle. It's amazing for the bedroom. It's star flower, sandalwood musk, and radiant amber. This is like this is like the smell that you want your boyfriend or husband to come home to and like it just smells like a woman i don't know how else to describe it it smells like a beautiful sophisticated woman lives here like that's what it smells like it smells so good this is like the perfect one to burn to if you have company coming over if you have like a girl's night whatever i love in the stars it's so so yummy in the candle so i might i'm probably not going to pick up a second one but i'm just really happy that i was able to pick that one up and then I picked up Into the Night. I don't think, or at least I don't remember having this candle before. It's Raspberry Noir, Velvet Rose Petals, and Mocha Musk. I don't think I have this one. And I don't think I have had it. It's very, very perfumey. Woo, that's about to blow me out the house. It's very, I feel like this is gonna be really strong. So this is gonna be another one that I'll put in the bedroom. But I feel like it's another like very sophisticated, grown woman kind of scent like this is nice so i like this packaging too it's like super sleek with the black lid and the black packaging and the wraparound i really wish that they did a wraparound on um pure wonder because that would have been so pretty with this like glittery label all the way around but i do like that it's pink wax and you can see that it's pink because that's really cute and girly okay yeah, we're down to our last candle and that is saltwater breeze so I was really, I would say surprised that they brought it out in the candle this year because I don't think when it originally came out that it ever came out in a candle. So I was really shocked at this one. I like this one in the body care. Um, it's not my favorite scent, but it's like, it's nice. It's fresh linen, violet leaves, and white water blossom. I usually like violet in anything. And yeah, it smells like saltwater breeze. I think this one will be perfect for summer, especially for like Texas summer where we get up to like a hundred and something degrees. This will be really nice to have going. I would never burn like a gourmand cookie candle when it's 105 outside. That's just like unheard of. That would make me feel so gross, but this I feel like would be perfect. So nice, clean, fresh scent. I think this is great. This one also I feel like might be a great one to burn if you um, like just cooked fish or you just fried something in your house and you want the scent to go away. I feel like this would be one that would really chase that scent away, which I love having candles like that on hand because you never know when you're gonna need one of those. So that's this one. And that's my entire candle haul. I think that's probably the least that I've ever gotten, which is like sad to say. So I got eight candles for myself and then one as a gift. So yeah, eight candles. I think usually I get two cartons full, which is like 12. 
Oops. So yeah, I got eight this year. I think I did pretty good. Really happy about the fragrances I got. As you can tell, I'm really thinking about what I'm gonna burn next year because I use Candle Day to restock my collection. I really don't buy, like I try not to buy at all in the spring and then I buy very minimal in the summer, usually only around SAS. So I like to stock up my candle collection for scents that I'll be burning during that time. Um, and that's when I like to go, go through my collection and then I start buying new stuff in the fall again. So that's just a little insight into my collection. But anyways, that's it for Candle Day. That's everything. Look how cute the bag was. I didn't show you guys this before, but they did give away the 2023 annual Candle Day Bath, Bath and Body Works bag. This will be nice. I'm just going to leave this in the trunk of my car. You never know when you need a reusable bag. But that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you picked up anything for Candle Day. What did you pick up? Did you get anything like super fun and unique, like those new scents, or are you still holding out? I'm holding out for, I think it's called Brioche French Toast. I just remembered it. Brioche French Toast is going to be something that I'm totally going to pick up if it comes out on Sunday. So keeping my fingers crossed, but that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!